Maggot therapy is a type of biotherapy involving the introduction of live, disinfected maggots onto non-healing skin and soft tissue wounds of a human or animal for the purpose of disinfection and cleaning out the dead tissue. Some maggots will only feed on dead tissue, some only on live tissue, and some will feed on either. The flies used most often for the purpose of maggot therapy are blowflies known as the common greenbottle fly, which will only consume dead tissue. In 2004, the United States Food and Drug Administration cleared maggots from the common greenbottle fly for use as a medical device for the purpose of treatment in humans and animals. These maggots have four principal actions. Debridement, which is the removal of dead tissue, disinfection of the wound, stimulation of healing, and biofilm inhibition and eradication. Maggots consume necrotic tissue far more precisely than is possible in a normal surgical operation and can debride an entire wound in one or two days. Their chemical secretions are believed to have broad-spectrum antimicrobial properties, and studies have shown that maggots inhibit and destroy a wide range of pathogenic bacteria. Not all wound types are suitable for maggot therapy. A moist, oozing wound with a sufficient oxygen supply is a prerequisite. Any wounds which are dry or open wounds of body cavities do not provide a good environment for maggots to feed. In some cases, it may be possible to make a dry wound suitable for maggot therapy by soaking it in saline to moisten it. Dressings are designed to prevent any maggots from escaping, while also allowing air to get through to them. To assist both patients and doctors who may have a distaste for the creatures, the maggots can be enclosed in opaque polymer bags to hide them from sight. Maggots have been used since antiquity as a wound treatment for both humans and animals. Maggot treatment was reported during the Renaissance, as well as being historically used by the Maya Native Americans and Aboriginal tribes in Australia. Many military physicians have reported that soldiers whose wounds had become colonised with maggots experienced significantly less disease or death than those whose wounds had not become colonised. 